When we want to create an interactive prototype, all we have to do is to prepare design Figma and export it into tools like Protopie or Frame. But not anymore. With Interactive Components feature, we may create interactive UI components and make our prototypes feel natural, just like Realabs, directly in Figma. To demonstrate possibilities of interactive components, let's prepare a button that will react to our interactions. Here, I have prepared a few components that are actually button states. What's important, it is good to have layers named the same way in these components. This is because you will also be able to animate them smoothly with Smart Animate feature later. To prepare interactive component, let's select the group of components and combine them as variants. Only variants may be turned into interactive elements, so this is an important step. Now, let's switch to prototype mode by clicking the tab in the top right corner. Ok, to make an interactive component, we have to click the circle button near the element and connect it with other one. This is it. Now let's customize interaction a bit. We have to change the interaction type from on click to while hovering because this is component with the hover state of the button. Let's also play with the easing type to achieve more playful result. We may also change duration of the animation, but for now let's stay with the default value. Let's prepare the rest of the button states. We will repeat the same actions, but interaction types will vary from while pressing to one click. Figma has got built-in wide variety of interactions. They are enough to make the prototype feel natural. Ok, now we have done all elements. To test out interactive component, we have to pull out created component and put it right inside the frame. Now we may launch prototype by clicking play button in the top right corner. This is it for Figma interactive components. If you have any questions or you would like to show me your interactive components, feel free to leave a comment below. If you are looking for more tutorials like this, do not forget to subscribe my channel. You may also join uxmisfit.com newsletter, link in the description below, to get notified about every new stuff I created. See you soon!